Throughout the annals of history, countless heroes and champions have emerged, driven by an unwavering commitment to liberty. They selflessly gave their all to carve a brighter future for their nations. In this compelling video, we embark on a journey through time to celebrate the remarkable women who have etched their names in the annals of history as fearless trailblazers, from the indomitable Joan of Arc in France to modern-day heroines like Masa Amini, each leaving an indelible mark on the tapestry of freedom's enduring story. Joan of Arc, also known as Jeanne d'Arc, is one of history's most iconic and inspiring figures. She was a French heroine who played a pivotal role in the Hundred Years' War between France and England during the late medieval period. Joan of Arc was born around 1412 in the village of Domremy in northeastern France. She came from a modest farming family and grew up in a devoutly religious household. At the age of 13, Joan began to experience visions of religious figures, including Saint Michael, Saint Catherine, and Saint Margaret. She believed that these visions were a divine calling, instructing her to help the French crown against the English, who were occupying French territories. In 1429, at the age of 17, Joan of Arc traveled to the Dauphin, Charles VII, and convinced him to let her lead French troops. She played a critical role in the lifting of the Siege of Orléans, a significant turning point in the war. Her leadership and military successes inspired the French army and boosted the morale of the French people. One of Joan's most remarkable achievements was escorting Charles VII to his coronation at Reims in 1429. This event symbolized his legitimate claim to the French throne and solidified her reputation as a visionary and military leader. In 1430, Joan was captured by the Burgundians and sold to the English. She was put on trial by the church on charges of heresy and cross-dressing. Despite her valiant defense, she was found guilty and condemned to death. On May 30, 1431, Joan of Arc was burned at the stake in Rouen, France, at the age of 19. Her death was a tragic end to a short but remarkable life. Joan of Arc's legacy endured long after her death. In 1456, a retrial posthumously declared her innocent, and she was canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church in 1920. She remains a symbol of French patriotism, bravery, and devotion to a cause. Her life has inspired countless works of literature, art, and film, making her a timeless icon of courage and determination. Susan B. Anthony was a prominent American suffragist and women's rights activist born in 1820. Her commitment to social justice began with the temperance and abolitionist movements. She co-founded the American Equal Rights Association in 1866, advocating for women's suffrage and racial equality. Her partnership with Elizabeth Cady Stanton was pivotal in advancing women's rights, including their work on the 1848 Seneca Falls Convention. Anthony traveled extensively, delivering speeches and organizing rallies to advocate for women's right to vote. In 1872, she was arrested for attempting to vote, refusing to pay the $100 fine as a form of protest. Although she didn't live to see it, the 19th Amendment granting women the right to vote was ratified in 1920, thanks in large part to her tireless efforts. Susan B. Anthony remains a revered figure in the fight for women's suffrage and gender equality. She passed away in 1906, and her grave in Rochester's Mount Hope Cemetery is a place of pilgrimage in her honor. Harriet Tubman, born around 1820 in Maryland, is a celebrated figure in American history known for her pivotal role in abolishing slavery and securing freedom for enslaved individuals. Born into slavery, Tubman escaped to freedom in 1849, beginning her mission to help others gain their freedom. She became a prominent conductor on the Underground Railroad, guiding around 70 enslaved individuals to freedom through dangerous journeys. During the Civil War, Tubman served as a nurse, cook, and spy for the Union Army, supporting African-American soldiers. Tubman was not only an abolitionist but also a suffragist, working alongside figures like Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton in the fight for women's right to vote. 
Her courage and dedication earned her the nickname Moses of her people. Harriet Tubman's contributions are widely recognized, with her image gracing the US $20 bill, and her home in Auburn, New York, designated as a National Historic Landmark. Her life stands as a testament to an individual's power to bring about positive change and her unwavering commitment to freedom, equality, and justice in American history. Helen Keller, a remarkable American author, lecturer, and disability rights advocate, overcame profound challenges to become an inspiring figure. Born on June 27, 1880, in Tuscumbia of Alabama, an illness at 19 months left her both deaf and blind. With the help of her dedicated teacher, Anne Sullivan, Keller learned to communicate through fingerspelling and braille, opening up the world to her. She graduated cum laude from Radcliffe College in 1904, the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree, advocating for disability education and welfare. Keller authored several books, including her autobiography, The Story of My Life, published in 1903. She was a renowned lecturer, addressing topics from disability rights to social and political issues. A tireless advocate for people with disabilities, she co-founded the American Foundation for the Blind in 1921, working for educational access, employment, and social inclusion. Keller also supported women's suffrage and rights. Her contributions earned her accolades, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1964. Helen Keller passed away on June 1, 1968, leaving an enduring legacy as a symbol of resilience, determination, and the capacity to conquer adversity through her advocacy for disability rights, education, and social justice. Emily Wilding Davison was a British suffragette who became known for her militant activism in the fight for women's voting rights in the United Kingdom during the early 20th century. She is particularly remembered for her dramatic protest at the Epsom Derby, which ultimately resulted in her tragic death. Emily Davison, born in 1872 in London, England, was a middle-class woman who pursued higher education at Holloway College and St. Hugh's College, Oxford. She became an active member of the Women's Social and Political Union, a militant suffrage organization led by Emmeline Pankhurst, dedicated to achieving women's voting rights through direct action tactics. On June 4, 1913, Emily Davison carried out a famous act during the Epsom Derby horse race by stepping onto the racetrack and attempting to grab King George V's horse's bridle, Emmer. She was struck by the horse and suffered severe injuries, leading to her death on June 8, 1913, at the age of 40. The exact motivations behind her protest remain debated. Her death had a profound impact on the suffragette movement and the public, making her a martyr for the suffrage cause. Thousands of suffragettes and sympathizers attended her funeral procession in London. Emily Davison's unwavering commitment to women's suffrage and her bold actions have immortalized her as a symbol of dedication and sacrifice in the fight for equal voting rights, continuing to inspire advocates of social and political change. Rosa Parks, the mother of the civil rights movement, was born on February 4, 1913, in Alabama. Her most famous act of civil disobedience occurred on December 1, 1955, when she refused to give up her bus seat to a white passenger in Montgomery, Alabama, leading to her arrest. This sparked the Montgomery Bus Boycott, a year-long protest led by civil rights leaders, including Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parks worked with civil rights leaders to challenge segregation and discrimination, resulting in the Supreme Court's declaration of the Montgomery Bus Segregation Ordinance as unconstitutional in 1956. Facing threats, she moved to Detroit in 1957 and continued her activism. Her bravery and dedication made her a symbol of resistance to segregation. She received several honors, including the Presidential Medal of Freedom, and her Montgomery home is now a museum dedicated to her legacy. Aung San Suu Kyi, born in 1945 in Myanmar, is a prominent politician and human rights activist known for her fight for democracy in Myanmar. She comes from a politically influential family, and after studying in the UK and working for the United Nations, she returned to Myanmar in 1988 during a period of political upheaval. In 1988, 
She co-founded the National League for Democracy and won the 1990 general elections, but the military junta refused to recognize the results. Aung San Suu Kyi spent years under house arrest, becoming an international symbol of non-violent resistance and receiving the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991. She was released in 2010, and Myanmar initiated political reforms. In 2012, she entered parliament and became the state councillor in 2015 after the NLD's election victory. However, her leadership faced criticism for her handling of the Rohingya crisis, leading to international condemnation. In 2021, Aung San Suu Kyi was detained again, along with other NLD members, after a military coup in Myanmar, resulting in ongoing political turmoil and protests. On September 16, 2022, a 22-year-old Iranian woman named Masa Amini, also known as Gina Amini, was killed under questionable circumstances in Tehran, the capital of Iran. She had been arrested by the regime's religious morality police in Iran on allegations of not conforming to government-mandated hijab standards. Several eyewitnesses, including women who had been detained alongside Masa, asserted that she had been subjected to severe physical abuse and that her death was a result of police brutality. Some individuals who had seen leaked medical scans of Amini suspected that she might have suffered a cerebral hemorrhage or stroke due to head injuries sustained during her arrest. The heartbreaking killing of Masa Amini served as a powerful catalyst, igniting the largest anti-regime protests in Iran's history. Masa's name became the rallying cry, symbolizing the yearning for freedom among Iranians, evoking deep emotions and fervent determination. In a display of dissent, some female protesters have removed their hijabs or publicly cut their hair. These protests against the regime persist and are collectively known as the Woman Life Freedom Revolution. Numerous artists, musicians, and students have faced detention, torture, blindness, or even lost their lives at the hands of the regime. Human Rights reported that as of December 2022, at least 476 people had lost their lives due to security forces actions during the recent nationwide protests. Amnesty International also documented cases in which Iranian security forces had used live ammunition and fatally beaten protesters with batons during the demonstrations. Through online voting and statistical data, it is evident that the primary opposition to the Islamic Republic regime is led by Reza Pahlavi. He is the Crown Prince of Iran and the eldest son of Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, the last Shah of Iran, and his wife, Farah Deba. These exceptional heroines offer us a glimpse into our rich and inspiring history. Countless other brave women have made sacrifices in their noble pursuit of freedom. With unwavering determination, Raven's team envisions a world where peace and liberty embrace every corner, uniting individuals from across the globe in the pursuit of a shared dream.